Good morning girls. I'm Dr. Kiran Deswal, Assistant Professor English, BZT Government Girls College, Shapura. Today, I will teach you the refugees composed by Paul S. Buck. For the introduction of the author and about this story, please refer to my notes which I have shared on WhatsApp group. Let us begin our story. Let me tell you about the title. Refugee is a person who flees to safety as in times of war, natural catastrophes, etc. It's all about displaced people. Whenever there is a natural calamity, people move from one place to another for shelter to save to save their life for safety of their lives so this is a story about refugee who due to flood left their place and moved to another place at that strange place how they were treated it is all about that they walk through the new capital they here refers for refugees who are walking in the new capital where they have come for shelter they walk through the new capital alien and from a far country it was a alien land for them and they were coming from a far country Yes, although their own lands were only a few hundred miles perhaps from this very street upon which they now walked, but to them it was very far. Their eyes were the eyes of those who have been taken suddenly and by some unaccountable force from the world they have always known and always thought safe until this time. In the opening paragraph, the writer wants to describe their mental condition, how they are feeling. They are working in the new capital, they are alien there and their own lands, though it's a few hundred miles away, but it seems that it is very far because they are very uh, far from that. And But to them, it was very far. Their eyes were the eyes of those who have been taken suddenly. They are afraid. Their eyes are the eyes of those who are taken suddenly and by some unaccountable force. Unaccountable forces flood natural calamity uh, unaccountable force from the uh, world they have always known and always thought safe until this time until this time until this flood they were very safe there they who had been accustomed only to country roads and field now they are in a modern city they are the villagers who never seen scenes like this before uh, they are uh, they are accustomed only to country roads and fields walked now along the proud street of the new capital they are walking uh, on the uh, concrete road of the new capital their feet treading upon the new concrete sidewalk and although street was full of things they had never seen before so that there were even automobiles and such things of which they had never even heard still they looked at nothing because they are afraid they are <clears throat> not interested in all these things but passed as in a dream seeing nothing they are seeing nothing they are just passing there were several hundred of them passing at this moment it was a displacement of thousands of people due to flood due to flood uh, they moved they were shifted from their country from their village to a city to a town if they did not look at anything nor at anyone they are afraid 
they are uh, under tension they are under anxiety so they ignored everything they uh, don't have time and they don't have interest to look at anything or anyone if it had been a normal time they could have taken interest in all these things but now as they are afraid they don't want to see anything the city was full of refugees there was a flood of refugees in the city many thousands of them they were in number of thousands fed after a fashion it is a fashion to feed refugees in shelter camps uh, by government government give them food packets clothed somehow sheltered in mats in great camps there were great shelter camps outside the city wall at any hour of the day lines of ragged men and women and a few children could be seen making their way towards the camps and if any city dweller noticed them it was to think with increased bitterness here we have the feelings of city people towards the refugees they are not happy with them they are not happy with their arrival there is a bitterness increasing in their hearts for refugees they are not happy seeing the refugees uh, the writer has also mentioned their thinking about the refugees more refugees because they are coming in thousands more refugees will there never be an end to them they are not going to end uh, they will come continue we will all starve we will be hungry we will all starve trying to feed them even a little it is impossible to feed to manage food for these refugees who are thousands this bitterness of city dwellers of people of urban area of people of uh, citizens of people of that particular city which is the bitterness of fear they are also afraid that we will be starving if refugees will continue to come made small shopkeepers bow out rudely to the many beggars who came early to beg at the doors refugees are hungry so they are begging to shopkeepers and shopkeepers are rude to them they are rudely uh, rebuking them threatening them and it made men ruthless in paying small fares to the rickshaw pullers of which there were 10 times as many as could be used there was dearness regarding fares of rickshaws because the refugees were trying to earn something thus they were hard working people uh, some of them don't want to beg that's why they were doing their work so even the usual pullers of rickshaws who followed this as their profession cause the refugees because being starving they would pull for anything given to them and so fares were low for all and this situation made them angry we will be continue in our next video with this story thanks for watching